Good morning, good morning, good day, rise and shine. <laughs> How is everybody doing? It is beautiful outside, but the weather in Canada just went from snowfall to like scorching hot really quickly. Um, and I wanted to film a video for you guys today. The hypothyroidism video that I posted was probably filmed a little over two years ago. So it has been a hot fucking minute since I was dealing with all of those issues. But now that I am an old lady in my 30s, a loser! So, you know, my metabolism is not what it used to be. I can't just recover as quickly as I used to when I was like 20 years old and training three times a day. So there's a lot of things that I've had to change in my life and I'm thinking, you know what? Let's make a video of this little chit chat, answer your questions and let you know why maybe you might not be losing weight or why maybe you're not getting the results that you want. I have another tripod, hold on. I switched my tripod so now I don't have to hold anything because this tripod is only this small and sometimes size matters. That's what she said! So let's talk about why you are not losing weight, why are you tired, why are you know your results just not coming through as soon as you want, which normally let's be real people want results right away when you wake up what should you do it's really important when you wake up you have water hydrate your body as soon as you wake up give it some water and give it some natural energy people like do this thing where they're really tired at work and then they drink coffee but then they get really dehydrated so that makes them even more tired and then they drink more coffee and then they get more dehydrated and then they're more tired and then they drink more coffee and then it's like they come home and they're like, I had four cups of coffee today and I'm so tired, what's going on? Uh, you did not drink any fucking water, bro. I wake up in the morning and I have um, a big, big glass of warm or hot water. And in that, I put one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, which has to have the mother in it. And then one tablespoon of lemon juice, or I just kind of squeeze a piece of lemon and then one tablespoon of honey and then I fill a big nice glass of water with it like hot water so lemon is really good for helping to like what's the word neutralize your gut and it helps to reduce the like the acidic level in your gut now coffee is extremely acidic and so that's why it like attacks your gut in a bad way which is also why probiotics are a really good thing for breakfast what should you eat for breakfast ideally your first meal should be a high protein high good fat meal okay so let me come back to what i'm gonna eat for breakfast because i genuinely do not know like i don't fucking know okay now my camera is dying great so while i figure out how i'm gonna fuel i'm gonna go fuel my camera eh? And then in the evening, I'm going to take you with me to see my workout. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And we are just going to cover all your questions today, girl or guy or bro. Okay? Burb. You know what that is, right? Have I said that in a video yet? I use burb for BRB. Like, be right back. Burb. Okay, burb. I don't remember what I was saying because it's been a fucking few hours. But I had breakfast, which is... Um, the minute I start recording and my phone is going crazy. Okay, hold on, let me turn off the light. This is my third time trying to come back. Okay, camera is charged, I am charged, I had my breakfast and if you have followed me on Instagram or know me, you probably already know what I ate. I ate protein pancakes. That's what I have for breakfast. I will post my recipe on Instagram so you guys can head over there. You'll see a photo. Just find it and the recipe will be there. Okay, but like let's talk about realistically what I was saying. So like let's be serious for a sec. The first thing I said is that when you wake up, you have to hydrate, right? And then I told you I have apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and honey. Check. 
after that, I don't really eat in the morning because when I was dealing with hypothyroidism, I got into intermittent fasting and I realized how much I love not having to cook when I wake up. So whether I do intermittent fasting now because it's intermittent fasting or because I'm just lazy when I wake up, um, it's probably the latter because after I drink my coffee, I do programming for clients, I do email work, I do some other stuff. So I normally don't feel hungry as soon as I wake up and also I find the coffee fills me up. So then a couple hours later, about two, three hours later, I'll have my breakfast and again, protein pancakes. One thing I've started to do is make sure I get my water intake. The heat is helping. So what I do is I have one of these. It's a mammoth mug. The capacity on this, I believe, is a little under two and a half ish liters. So when I wake up, I fill the entire thing up with water and then I just drink this through the day. Now this I don't include when I'm actually working out. Like I just make a separate shaker that's around 500 to 700 ml and then I'll drink that. Don't do something for two, three weeks and then be like, hello. You know, I feel like that is really the mentality people have. They want quick results and life doesn't work like that. So have the dis discipline, be consistent and like have a positive mind, okay? And then make sure you're like working out. Work out with whatever you have, whatever you can access. If you can only do home workouts, do home workouts. If you can only skip, skip. If all you wanna do is like play Zumba videos on your TV and like dance for six hours, do that. Find your thing and find some enjoyment in working out because it really feels good to work out. I love it, I love the feeling of it. And then what am I eating for lunch? Okay, so I'm gonna have a salad. I'm just literally cutting up some lettuce, putting some chicken on there, throwing some croutons, and then I got this like healthy yogurt dressing because I'm really, really not hungry. And then before I work out, I'm gonna have a banana, and then I'll probably see you at the workout in a little bit. And I'm gonna go right into my workout. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's warm up. I wanted to say one thing, which is that what works for me, okay, you know what? I feel like I'm just giving everyone a boost. <gasps> the things that work for me in my weight loss journey are going to be very different to what works for you. It's really fucking hot today. I'm gonna go get more plates. So I'm gonna do the next set now. I can't even sit, because otherwise I have to fix the camera. <gasps> What's up? Today I'm doing farmer's walks, so I'm just gonna do about 190 pounds for eight to 10 sets back and forth. I don't know how many meters this is. Training is so good for you. Like, it's good for your body, it's good for your mind, it's good for your mental health, it's good for your emotional, emotional health, it's good for weight loss, joint health. Like, you fucking name it, it's there, right? Like if you're having a bad day and then you come to the gym and you just lift something, you're like, yes! And you just feel like you own the world. And then when I go home tonight, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna record it because I'm gonna be really fucking tired, but I'm just gonna have like chicken and maybe like potatoes or something like that. Uh, or I'll just have chicken and rice. Essentially, your goal with eating is to keep your lean proteins high um keep your good fats high and if you're going to eat uh bread or whatever rice pasta have a lot of like good whole grain pasta whole grain rice but before i train is when i mostly eat my carbs and then after i train is mostly when i consume more protein uh the only time there's an exception is if i've had like a really fucking intense workout and i'm just like I need to feed my body. Try not to feed yourself because you're bored or you're sad or whatever. Like don't do that shit. Don't punish your body because you feel like the world is punishing you. Like it doesn't fucking work like that. If you feel like the world is like turning against you or punishing you, fight back by being good to your body and doing something that's really beneficial for you, okay? All right, next set, enough chat. I haven't done these in like, uh, oh my God. I haven't done these in almost like a year. 
see it. I hate that I'm at like a point now where I can literally go back a decade and I'm still a fucking adult. Like I can be like 10 years ago and then I'm like, fuck, I was like 24 years old 10 years ago. Eh. So find the things that make you feel good about yourself, that make you feel excited, that make you feel strong. And don't give a fuck about what other people want you to do or what other people expect you to do. And do that. You will find as soon as you're happy, your body will respond to that too. But when you're fucking happy, true happiness and true peace within your body does fucking wonders for you. And you have to find those things that bring you that. Don't surround yourself with people who make you feel like shit about you or who make you feel bad about the way you look or whatever. I mean like, trust me, I'm on YouTube. I have fucking so many messages on a daily, weekly basis from people telling me all kinds of dumb fucking shit. There's racist people, people who judge me for the way I look or the way I talk or whatever, the way I make my YouTube videos. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to live my life. Oh my God, I forgot to add weight. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more weight. 22.5 pounds. I call these magic plates. Like, you could be deadlifting 300 pounds with full fucking capacity and you're like, I think I can do a little bit more. As soon as you add the 2.5s, the plates are fucking glued to the ground and it's game over. I swear, it looks like someone is just standing there and watching me, but I don't know. How many rounds was that? Three? Is anybody counting? I don't even fucking know. Be hard working, be consistent, be fucking regular, be disciplined, and be motivated and be un what's the word be rigid in what you believe in like don't be oh my god what is the word like, don't let other people shake you from your path there's a word for it it's in my brain i don't even know why i've started this whole new trend where i just record videos when i'm training and then i don't fucking remember what i'm saying and then i'm just like whoa, 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 whoa. so we covered food we covered sleep we covered happiness wake up in the morning eat a nice big fucking plate of protein have some good fiber can't go wrong with oats and some eggs or egg white omelet you know have smoothies with like berries and fruits and vegetables and put yogurt in there if you can take dairy if not take probiotics for your gut or whatever try and taper down your carbs towards the end of the day end your day with a nice big like plate of protein again some green leafy vegetables or some like a small portion of carb like rice or potatoes or sweet potatoes like eat good food don't eat shitty food don't surround yourself with shitty garbage fucking people just think of anything in your life that's just trash and garbage and over processed but thinks it's good shit because it looks good it's probably crap and is not that good for you eat the stuff that you know is good for you and do the like apply that same principle to people you know the people who think they're fucking hot shit but in reality you know they're just over processed garbage and they're just gonna bring toxic sh toxic shit into your life think of everything in your life like that that principle is pretty much the same the rule applies to everything when something is you, you get it okay so i'm done my philosophy lesson how long is this video so moral of the story is <laughs> okay you know what this is what I have a moral. The moral of the story is to make long-term results or to make your results long-term, you have to just like incorporate habits into your life permanently. And so in order to do that, you have to have a balance of good and bad. And the, the balance of good and bad exists everywhere in the world, right? So it's okay to indulge in pizza once a week or something but it's also important that you try and make healthier decisions. And while they are harder in the beginning, they become easier the more your body adapts to them. But ultimately, this has to be strong and has to have the fucking will. If this is weak, this is unhappy, this is discouraged, the rest of it is going to follow. This is the main center of your body. Um, so stay motivated, stay disciplined, 
and stay on track and be patient. I'm done talking because now I'm going in circles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll be back with another random video. I'm really fucking enjoying myself with this stuff and that's all that really matters is that we all fucking enjoy what we're doing. Please subscribe. I'm not gonna, no, no. I'm not gonna kiss my hands. Love you. I'm also gonna do kettlebell swings because you can never do enough shit. I need to go home. <laughs>